dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky. This is WYMT Mountain News Weekend Edition. Good evening, I'm Amelia Lee. Former Bell County Sheriff Millard Harold Harbin died on Friday. According to the Bell County Sheriff's Office, Harbin was elected in 1994 and served for nine years. There will be a showing on Tuesday from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock at the Cowwood Funeral Home Chapel in Middlesboro. The funeral will follow directly after. Frustration and anger is boiling over in Israel after the bodies of six hostages held by Hamas in Gaza were recovered overnight. This development comes as delicate ceasefire talks are going on. As Christian Benedvedidas reports, one of the hostages is an Israeli American. 23-year-old Israeli-American Hirsch Goldberg Polit was captured by Hamas at a music festival on October 7th. His parents worked tirelessly to keep the Israeli hostage crisis and their son on the global stage. <laughs> Even addressing last month's Democratic National Convention. Hirsch, if you can hear us, we love you. Stay strong. The Israeli military says Goldberg Pollen's body was recovered from an underground tunnel in Rafa alongside five other hostages. Preliminary findings suggest all had been shot in the head. Carmel Gott, Eden Yeroshalmi, Alexander Lobanov, Almug Saruzi, and Master Sergeant Ori Danino. Their bodies were recovered by Israeli troops who were searching for them on a rescue mission. <laughs> Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reacted, saying whoever murders hostages does not want a deal. All they care about is the politics and they didn't approve to do a deal with, uh, with Hamas and so our loved ones are still there. This latest development has led thousands in Israel to take to the streets, fed up with Netanyahu's handling of the crisis. On Sunday, the White House said both President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris spoke to Goldberg Poland's parents. Christian Benavides, CBS News. The remains of the six hostages were discovered not far from where another hostage was found alive just last week. Well, as advertised, we had temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s, and that trend is going to continue as we go throughout your Labor Day. Numbers for today played out like this, made it to 79 in Hazard, 80 in Jackson, Prestonsburg made it to 80, Pikeville made it to 78, 76 in London, Monticello checked in with a high of 78. Outside right now, we have a little bit of cloud cover out there, but temperatures not bad. Look at Wise, 63 degrees, low 70s from Hazard to Manchester. London's at 72. 69 is the current temperature in Monticello. 72 is the temperature in Moorhead. We're seeing a little bit of cloud cover out there at this hour, but all in all, that's about it. All the precipitation, it's out. We're going to stay partly cloudy throughout the evening and overnight hours. When you wake up in the morning, we'll see temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, making for a beautiful start to your Monday. Look at noon on your Labor Day. 74 degrees. We'll see plenty of sunshine, but the question is, how long is this nice weather going to last? I'll have that answer in the first alert forecast in a few minutes. Amelia. Over to you. Thank you, Eric. One Eastern Kentucky artist is working to bring therapy and art together. Liv Taylor with Land of Live is a certified therapeutic art instructor. She says she's hosting sessions during the winter months for a discounted rate for those who use Medicaid. Taylor adds art can have a big impact on people as they navigate through life. And because of the demographics of the area, um, even though Medicaid doesn't cover it, I do give that for a discounted price. And it's important that self-expression be like within a daily life of every child that's growing up in, in today's society. Taylor says if you are interested, you can visit her Facebook page at Land of Live. New murals were being created around town in Harlan. Several people are currently working on a mural which will go in Umbrella Alley. Darian White with Custom FX Graphics says murals help bring color to communities. He adds they also help bring more people to the region, which can be good for tourism. The murals, to, to me, is not only does it beautify the area, it gives uh, interesting places for people to come to. You know, a lot of people like to get, either park their vehicle in front of the mural and take a picture, a snapshot, I've, I've been here, you know, or, or just get out and take selfies in front of the murals. You know, just kind of liven the place up a little bit. White says they had to take down the umbrellas for the time being to paint the mural. 
He says they'll put them back up once the mural is complete in a few weeks. Back in May, the Perry County Fiscal Court created the Department of Outdoor Recreation to help maintain the parks in Perry County as well as develop new trails. The Department of Outdoor Recreation has been tasked with not only maintaining the parks and park trails, but also developing new activities for folks in Perry County to enjoy. Director of Trails Ben Brahman says the department also wants to give children in the community new opportunities they didn't used to have and had to travel to do. And it's not just about, you know, one type of event where we want to build an outdoor infrastructure for like for for biking, hiking, um, equestrian, we already have a big ATV movement. So if we can provide something that's sustainable, we'll attract all those multi-user groups. Everything from uh, the cross country team now at Perry Central now has a place to hold meets because of the trail system that was built. Officials with the Department of Outdoor Recreation say they want to get the children in the community involved with the parks so that in the future they can keep the park system beautiful. Folks gathered in Corbin this afternoon to celebrate Native American heritage as well as honor veterans in the community. The Southeastern Kentucky Association of Native People hosted their 15th annual powwow. The celebration featured Aztec fire dancers and a dancing competition. People of all ages participated and people in Corbin had the opportunity to immerse themselves in Native American culture. All tribes at one time or another had something similar to this. Of course, this got commercialized during Buffalo Bill and the Wild West show. And uh, a lot of our traditional dances, like I'm a Muscogee Creek, originally from Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, of course, now Oklahoma. Uh, we do a stomp dance, and it's, it's similar. You know, a lot of the same things go on, but it's more uh, the ladies wear shaker shells, and it's man, woman, man, woman, and just the men do the singing. Officials with the powwow travel all over Kentucky to teach people about the history and culture of the American people. Coming up at 11, don't you love your weekend cat naps? Well, a new study shows that extra sleep is a slippery slope to better health. Ooh, I love me a good cat nap. Hey, I tell you what, this weekend was just downright wet for the first half, nice for the second half. Now the question is, how long will this nice weather last? We'll have the answer in the first alert forecast in a few.